Hello, everyone. This is News Now from the Belmont Journal and our weekly segment with Franklin Tucker, editor of the Belmontonian, and I'm your host, Mike Crowley. Today, we have a number of things we're talking about, including, so Franklin, what are the prospects for the library being on the ballot in November? It seems very good. Uh, after the last meeting of the select board, which was the last meeting on Monday, uh, the uh, library, um, the, the board of trustees came to uh, speak before the uh, select board and um, uh, with uh, some new news about the uh, project, uh, basically that they have come down with a specific figure um, that they what, believe it will cost. What, what is that figure? It'll be $39.5 million. Now that's okay. a big increase from yeah. just even just six months ago. Uh, but uh, they believe that uh, if uh, they believe that uh, if it goes if it goes on the ballot uh, in November for a debt exclusion, that is the amount that they are going to request. Now they're they're also doing fundraising, aren't they? And is that expected to defray any of that cost? It certainly does. I mean, they, they're nearing three million dollars, and they they said that even more uh, uh, donations are coming in. They just have to get it all filed and get the paperwork in, but they believe that that this is going to be a, a, a great way of showing that there's a great amount of support for the library. And now talking about uh, a November vote, okay. uh, uh, each member of the select board said during the meeting that they are going to support um, a motion to have uh, the library on the November, I think it's November 8th ballot. Okay, but Franklin, they, the select board hasn't actually taken that vote yet, have they? No, that is going to happen on July 25th, but each member uh, at the meeting said that they will vote yes on, at that meeting. Okay, so we can expect we can expect the library project to be approved for the November ballot. And, and that raises the question too, Franklin, what about what about the prospects of the rink? We've we've got a, a new skating rink building committee uh, that's that's been uh, that's been um, created. Created, and they have started meeting. What what's happening there? That well, they, that that is true. They have a new uh, they have new members. Uh, uh, they have a new group, I should say. It's a permanent uh, building committee for the uh, skating rink. Uh, they are going to meet every week, which is kind of surprising, especially over the summer. And what they are going to do is they're going to have try to have to meet some of the demands that the select board have to, uh, that asked them. The, uh, this new building committee that they have to come in with a complete set of designs, um, you know, uh, having uh, done uh, public meetings and also uh, a financial, uh, uh, a financial. Uh, 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 so, for Franklin, it's a lot of work that's necessary to to get the project approved. Um, are they going to be ready to to to? To, are they going to be ready with everything that has to be done in order for the, the select board to approve this for the November ballot, or are we looking at a later ballot? Well, that is the question. You know, um, now the, the building committee may think they have all, uh, they may have all their ducks in a row, but if the select board says come back later, you know, you haven't met the demands that we had, then it's more likely than not that the uh, skating uh, rink will come in the April town meeting ballot. Um, now, we don't know if that's what the building committee wants. You know, they may want to be in November also because that's when most people will be voting. You know, you're not going to get the same number of people voting in November right. in a midterm election rather than a town election. So you'd rather have those people. Um, you'd rather have that uh, greater amount of voters out. All right, Franklin, we'll have to see what happens there. Uh, I know there is concern about, um, you know, will we have time for the appropriate public input? Will there be time to get, you know, the, the designs finalized in time? And we'll, I guess we'll have to see what happens. Um, so next up, um, we, we had a recent um, union protest that led to some controversy. Can you tell us about that, Franklin? That's right. It was uh, a protest led by the um, SEIU uh, Local 888. Uh, it's, uh, it represents about 30 members of uh, the town. And uh, this was a very aggressive uh, protest. It was um, the uh, head of the uh, union, um, uh, Tom McKeever, was in uh, uh, Belmont Center uh, with a microphone, you know, and uh, uh, pointing out who he believes is is uh, not moving forward with with the um, with the union negotiation, and that is the uh, town administrator. Um, he then walked into uh, town uh, hall uh, uh, and uh, presented, I believe, black uh, balloons to um, 
the uh, town administrator staff. Now, the town what administrator. What was the purpose of that? It was simply just a. It's just an aggressive way of protesting. You know, it's it's just another way of doing it. And I think what surprised a lot of people is that you know Belmont really doesn't see this kind of protest. You know, this is not like Boston or Cambridge or places like that where you have you know uh, you're more aggressive uh, uh, protesting. So I think it took a, people aback. You know, the police were were advised about this. And um, I think everybody realizes that maybe it was a little over the top. Um, we haven't seen anything since since that day. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Okay, Franklin. And then finally, we, we have some, some deaths in the news that are unfortunate, of course. Yes, uh, uh, Paul Lyons, uh, the uh, uh, coach of the Belmont Boys uh, High School uh, basketball team that won a state championship in uh, 1993. He, uh, he died very suddenly, um, I believe it was the 17th or the 18th, uh, um, uh, just recently. Um, it was a, a, something of a shock. I mean, he was a very well-known, very well-liked person. Uh, then we had um, another uh, long-time couple from uh, Belmont, uh, Don and Jean uh, uh, Hulahan, Hulahan. That, that, uh, that died at uh, this uh, a tragic accident on Soldier Field Road. Um, you know, uh, Don was a, a well-known uh, business owner. He owned uh, bowtie limousines, uh, something that, you know, lots of people use for a lot of activities in Belmont. Jean mm -hmm. uh, was somebody who was uh, who lived her entire life in Belmont, a Belmont High School graduate. And uh, they uh, raised their three children on Carlson Road and uh, well-known, and they lived on the Hill Estates lately. All right. Well, that's unfortunate. But, uh, Franklin, we will see you next time. And... Um... Thank you for the update on the news. And if you'd like to see more of Franklin's reporting, please visit belmontonian.com. We'll see you next time. Thank you.